This is a demonstration of how to use the wizard to quickly add extraction commands. On later videos, I'll go into more details about each of these commands to gain more granular control over the extraction process. First, I will create a project and call it Yellow Pages. Now I will expand the Globals category and double click the main one to edit it and start adding commands. I will select Load URL from the wizard to load the current page and press Done. The wizard will add the required commands for us. To see what any command does, just select it and press F1 to launch its documentation. Now I will select Fill Form to run searches on the site. I will add a data source to populate with my search terms, which I will call Terms, and add one column called Term. I have a few search terms here which I will copy and paste on the Terms table I've just created. Now I need to choose a column selector combination. As the input column, I will select Term, and for the selector, I will select the search box on the page and press Create Selector from Samples. I will call this selector Search Box. This way, the input box will be filled up with each of the terms I added to the Term column in my input table. Now I will press Next and then Done. At this point, the extraction process will be on a results page, so I will turn off selection mode and run a search on the page. Since I want to turn the pages to extract all the results, I will now select Turn Pages from the wizard. I need to provide a Next button selector that selects the next link, so I will turn on selection mode and select the next button on the page. And now I will press Create Selector from Samples and call the selector Next button. For this sample, I will keep the maximum pages at 5. Finally, to perform the actual extraction, I will select Extract from the wizard. Since this is a list, I will select List. These are the right list items, so I will press yes here. Now I will test these columns by expanding the selection panel, and pressing the preview selector in browser button. Also, I will remove the ones I don't need, and rename some of them to be more descriptive. Here, I can select what to gather from each selector. I will select Number for the review count, to discard everything except the number. Now I will press play to start the extraction. We can see on the off-screen browsers that separate browser are running separate searches. This makes the extraction a lot faster. If needed, we can also disable this feature on the project settings. The results table will be created under the database category. This table will be named after the global we have used to run the extraction. Here, we can export our data into a CSV or Excel file.